Hi, I'm Larry Blackerby, Vice President and General Manager of RTV6 in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm here to talk to you about the Jefferson Awards and why we're so happy to be the Jefferson Awards station here in Indianapolis. Every local television station has to do the stories about crime, you have to cover the weather, but you don't always get to tell the stories about people who might be left out of the news, the ordinary people who are doing extraordinary things, the unsung heroes, the people who are doing things in their community just because it's the right thing to do, and they don't really care about getting noticed or getting a story on the news. That's what the Jefferson Awards allows you to do. I'm sure you've heard from the Jefferson Awards people by now, and they've told you that the Jefferson Award is considered the Nobel Prize for Community Service and Volunteerism. And you've heard a lot about the National Awards. But when you are the Jefferson Awards station, it brings it back to your market, and you get to talk about the volunteers in your community. It gives you the opportunity for invaluable viewer interaction. You get to hear from the people who are actually nominating the unsung heroes. It inspires a lot of people. And when it comes to the sales part of this, if you're going to have sponsors, there are a lot of companies in your city that have volunteer programs or outreach initiatives for their employees. So they want to be involved. In fact, our sales managers have told me it's the easiest sell that you will have. We highlight the winners in our newscasts, on our website, and we have a prime time special that we air each year that highlights all the winners. Then we have a community reception for the winners, their families, and the folks who nominated them. We also have community leaders there. It's a great evening, and it also inspires everyone. We have staff members there who go out and do a better job of being good community citizens. The extra bonus you get when you're a Jefferson Award station is you get to work with one of the founders of the Jefferson Award, Sam Beard, and his passion for this organization is infectious, not only to your staff, but to your community. If you have any questions about why your station should be a Jefferson Award station, I'd be glad to take your calls here in Indianapolis. It's a pretty easy decision. It's what good broadcasters do, and it will help you make your community a better place. Thanks.